Hello and welcome back to In the Studio with Ophelia. I am Ophelia and thank you all so much for joining me today. Today I thought it would be fun to put into practice or play around with um, some little mini detail brushes that I had in a haul video which I'll put up somewhere here. Um, I just feel as though there are times where I suffer greatly from playing in or wanting to play in all of the art materials that are out there. I go from color pencil to watercolor to all the things because I truly enjoy playing with all the things. Um, so much so that I lose focus and ugh, then I'm behind on things. And so today we will just be here in the studio where I will be using those tiny detail brushes to create some little tiny paintings. It's time for me to restock at the North Carolina Museum of Art store. And I sell a lot of the little tiny paintings. And so I thought I'd just have you guys along and we will chat and paint and play with those little micro detail brushes. So I'm going to flip the camera around here and let's start painting. But before I go, I would love for you all to consider subscribing to the channel. Give this video a thumbs up if you enjoy my content here and make sure that you hit that notification bell so that you're notified when I upload all of this madness and situations. But thank you all so much for being here. Thank you all so much for just the absolute kindness and gosh, just thank you all. If you're brand new here, welcome. And Ophelia will stop talking and let's get busy painting. First, I just need to apologize for the sound quality. I'm here in my classroom doing this voiceover and just wanted to talk a bit about the supplies I'm using. I've got the Edge Canvas. It's a gallery wrapped four by four. I also have the micro brushes as well as New York Central's new gesso that I'm trying. And as a spoiler, I really do like the coverage and the consistency. What I'm going to do is just apply a thin amount of the gesso on the canvas. And I always just like to put another layer of gesso on my canvas even though they're already primed, I guess, when I receive them, it's almost as though it is my way of showing up in my studio. And so I'm just going to sit this one off to the side and let it dry. These other two I've already done. And so let's get to playing with those. I've got titanium white, Indian yellow, rose, orange, cad orange, red, cad red, turquoise as well as Payne's gray and all of these are loop paints and then my brushes are the polar flow 700 700 B series brushes that I use I've got a regular number two pencil as well as my Jerry's jumbo jet black pencil I'm gonna speed this up the first thing that I do is just use that jumbo jet pencil to make some marks on the canvas and then cover those marks back with white paint. And then I just begin with a selection of paints basically to cover the canvas and kind of get myself a bit of a background in. I picked up some of that yellow, I'm sorry, I picked up some of that cad orange and then some of the cad red with a palette knife. and. I'm using my palette knife right now because those layers are still wet and I don't want things to blend really. I just want to place them down. So I've just started basically playing around with this background, seeing what I can build with the colors that I have. And I'm staying really within the Indian yellow, the rose, the cad orange, 
and then the tad red B. I pull in some of the Payne's Gray there on the bottom and I'm using my palette knife to just kind of make scratches as well as with that pencil. I like to use the pencil to make smaller marks. And then I'm using um, the detail brushes, which I really like to kind of drag the paint around. And while I'm letting that top one dry, I'm just kind of going in with um, the second one, again, using my palette knife to put in different colors. Um, I've moved to the Payne's Gray and that turquoise, but then head back up with that palette knife again. And in all honesty, right now, I'm still just working on playing around with the background of it. I like to use the palette mark to the palette knife to just kind of get scratches and put color down um, in not so specific areas, but just kind of be scratchy with it. And then once everything is dried up, now I come in with a smaller 700B brush, and then I'm just gonna start adding in that spice color. And I'm using another little 4x4 four four canvas to kind of rest my hand on as I work with different colors. Um, using those micro brushes that I really like to use to kind of drag the paint around. Um, and just make the tiniest bits of mark marks on my canvas. Um, I like to... I just like the size of them to not make very specific marks or like an entire, um, paint an entire space, but just kind of to drag paint around. And then once I get in those turquoise colors, I use the Jumbo Jet Black Pencil to um, just make marks around those spaces. And then again, using my palette knife to kind of go in with other colors, as well as that number two pencil to just kind of make little tiny scratch marks as well as move some paint around. And I just keep going until I feel as though the canvas is done. A lot of times it is pretty hard for me to decide to call it quits. and then I just move on to the next one. And again, around the canvas, I go basically with my palette knife, the brushes, the tiny brushes, just adding color here and there. I always feel as though once I put a color at one place on the canvas. I like to repeat that color somewhere else. And so I just make my way around the canvas, just kind of filling in spaces, making marks. What I love to do is when I'm using those tiny micro brushes, I'll put some paint down and then I'll come immediately in with that number two pencil to just kind of grunge up or scratch up the marks that I made so that they won't look so perfectly placed. And I just keep going back and forth. I do love painting these tiny little paintings and if you're interested, my workshop is still open over on Southern Gal Designs. I'll leave a link below 
um, all of the content is there and um, it's for you can keep the content for life if you want to see a more in-depth process to my abstract paintings however thank you guys so much for being here and watching and i'll see you next time bye